But what if you were like, I want to be a headliner in one year. I want to make a million dollars in one year. Why? Tell me reasons why you'd want to be a million dollar headliner in one year. This business can be frustrating as hell. You can watch other people attain tremendous success seemingly instantly. And you're like, where's mine? If you're getting jokes all the time, do, 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 and you're getting laughs, if you're not going from someplace real, and you get off stage, people will go, Whoa, remember that guy? No. They're not saying anything, but it's loud. All right, motherfuckers, okay, yeah. All right, in the house, yeah. Asians, Asians in the house, yeah. All right, all right, who else is in the house? Get the fuck out of my house. I know they just keep saying that. You don't learn one thing when someone comes up to you and goes, great show. What do you, you learn shit there. I mean, for me, as someone that is always nervous about, because especially as a girl, you have, it's a very fine line. Like if you stand up for yourself, oh, you're a bitch. There's not one comic that everyone universally likes. We're all different. You know, there's just too many different things that we're all connected to and plugged into. So, you know, when Dane Cook was playing stadiums and he was killing, there's a bunch of people like, Dane Cook sucks, but you know, he's got a really big house. I don't think he cares that you think that. Do not do comedy from any place than right in here. There's no other comedy that can work. If you want everyone to love you, but you also want to be successful, you might as well quit. Because the second you get big, you're fine. List all those things. In every one of those things, that's where all the humor is. That's something I never did or even wrote before. It opened him up so he was able to talk louder and breathe better, just had more energy. It forced a physiology shift in his body. Uh, you mentioned writing with uh, like an authentic voice, uh -huh. but um, also structuring your onstage character based on how you felt the audience was perceiving you. Right. So is, is there a tension there? Between. I think there's a great tension there. Find out what you can do every day to get closer and closer to who you really know you can be. God, that's fucking beautiful. I didn't even write that down. <laughs> As a comic, you need to be armed with four basic things for sure. If someone wanted to produce their own show, how would they go about presenting that to a, a booker, a club owner? First of all, you really do need to have your publicity in order. Would we submit like our DVD directly to NACA, or should we like submit to you to try to get representation to you, and then you send us to NACA, or how does that work? Can't fake anger. The audience will see it, and you'll look insane. You're not giving the audience a chance to be in the moment when you're smiling and doing this, and, and you're not in the moment. Some of you clearly had a low that made you go, I gotta learn some new shit, and made you come here. Because if you were all comfortable, you wouldn't have come. You'd have been fine. You gotta want it more than you're afraid of it. If you expect the stage to fix your life, you are wrong, things will get worse, and I guarantee you will probably try to commit suicide because I've been there, I've seen it, I know the people, I've seen the end of the movie, the people end up dead who think that this is fixing that. Email me and I will shoot you an email back. Just say that it was from Kyle's workshop and we'll get you a spot. Get that five minutes, make it killer, come out to Vegas, do it in front of my show. Get a killer five minutes. If you come to me and say it's a killer five, I'm going to let you do it. I'm not going to have to see it.
here's what I love about you. Okay. You have a wall up. And this is what I love the most. We're going to knock that fucking thing down. Get them on your frequency. If they're listening to rock and roll and you come in with classical music, they're not, that's the one thing you learn about an audience. They're not in the mood to hear classical right away. They're in the mood to hear rock and roll. In everything we we're trying to say to you, you've got a quick comeback and you're back to this hacky, road, comic y joke, right? That nobody laughed at. But you're holding on to it. The only reason you're nervous is all your thoughts are pretty much stemming from what if, and then you think of something that someone else will think, or what if, and you think of the loss of control, what if this, all these things are outside things. And the number one thing that you're going to start to release in your entire life is one word, control. What's a purpose? To be here or to be here? There can be a real catch-22 when you go, how do I let go of something so that I can get it? Because you know in your heart that you have greatness, or you wouldn't be attempting this.